Welcome to Six Ashes for episode one with me, Mr. Sealy P. Well, an auspicious day indeed. I moved here to the Severn Valley, South Staffordshire, Bridge North is just, well, north, just trying to think, yeah, northwestish, I think, from here. Um, out on the A458, which is just over there, actually, not far from where we are. We moved here a while ago, and um, unfortunately, I work from home. I mean, that's what I do. So my wife, she's out doing her thing. But with all the recent problems around the world, a lot of my work's dried up. There's not a lot I can be doing. So I've been looking for something to do. And, as luck would have it, um, up at the local machine store, uh, there's a lot of big rural farming community around here um, they've got signs up looking for well, hired work I suppose, hired help um, around the local community on farms, farmers fields doing an array of different jobs so I've had a bit of a think and I think that's what I'm going to do we need some money coming in welcome to Poundland, look at the top right hand corner I have a pound that's it that's all I've got. Now, farming is a whole big, broad thing. Um, I don't own any farm machinery. I don't own any equipment. Um, I did go up to the store a little while ago. And I've taken on a job for a local farmer. My plan is to do this until I, you know, work picks up again. And I can continue working from home. If any odd jobs come up, I can do from home. I will do. But, like I said, we need money coming in. Um, so this is what I need to do. I honestly have nothing. Um, it's not really a lot else I can do. I've got my hoverboard and that's it. A hoverboard and a pound. <laughs> um, I did think about how we're going to tackle doing this it's going to be a bit of a slog i'll be honest with you but i'm going to try my best it may well fail i've got a funny feeling we're going to go into debt before we get anywhere um but again hopefully we can get to a position we can pay that off i've also been tipped the wing there's quite there's a few local farmers around um at various different farms around um, I've been chatting down the local pub, I was at the side of the house the other night, which actually isn't far from here, um, to um, Jamie, I met in there, Dan, Rory, wow, I need to pay attention where I'm going, and Duncan, nice blokes, all, and have helped me out tremendously with a few ideas and things I can do, uh, a few kind of off the books jobs that I could potentially pick up, transporting things here and there, um, the livestock market, which is ob just where opposite where we are. Um, actually, just turn the engine off. Motor, whatever we call it. Um, just opposite here, um, they have an abundance of manure and slurry, which can be bought, but also can be sold. Um, the main store here get in all sorts of stuff um, from local farms around this is kind of a hub stuff gets delivered here it gets bought here um one farm will drop something off another farmer can pick it up um it just makes life a little bit easier all round there are a few things that can be bought and sold from here which gives me some other options now it's early spring as far as i'm aware there's no planting or seeding going on there's plenty of cultivating jobs um plowing maybe fertilizing but local farmer Scott has left this for me this is going to be a baptism of fire so to speak um, I'm going to pick up a lot of contracts now it was mentioned to me that I should try as best as I can not to do contract work but without any machinery without any I don't own any land other than the, our house I don't have anything I, I there's no way of making money unless i do contracts had i moved to the area and we'd bought an established farm that was already up and running and potentially i could build on that but as it stands at the moment no this is just me offering out to my farming services if you can call it that 
So I suppose what we need to do is get straight into it. Um, the A458 here is a busy old road, um, a little bit scary. Seven Valley sweeps down away from us. Um, Wooten is the sort of area here. I know it's Six Ashes, Bridge North is along the A458. Um, but we've got Wooten. It's a lovely area. I, I really like it. We're glad we moved here. Just a pity about the uh, current situation. So, let's crack on. I've been lucky enough over the past couple of days um, to have said farmers that I've spoken to, Jamie, Dan, Rory and Duncan, have given me a few a few hours of their time, which is incredibly helpful of them and very kind of them, for advice but also guidance. I've had a few tractor driving lessons, um, machinery, hooking up three points, all those kind of lovely things that you need to do. Um, actually, I need to check. Where am I going? I don't know. Where am I going with this? Um, so as I said, this is for Scott. Yeah, uh, field 11 is where we're heading to cultivate. Open up the sat map. Oh, there we go. Out towards Grain Co. I'm not sure how we're going to get to that field. Do we maybe need to go in that way? Or in from this side? We'll find out. I'll take that first turn and we'll take this little or lane maybe I don't know if that's actually connected all we can do is see I just need to wait for a gap in traffic now oh that pillar's in a horrible position might just have to bite the bullet and go for it it's a fast track we can pick up a bit of speed fairly quickly he says So, how's everyone doing? I know out there there's a lot of people that are farming the same area as me at the moment. It's going to be a challenge. This is going to be a massive challenge for me. Um, thank you to every person who's commented and offered advice and suggestions and all the various different things. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm still... I don't know. We'll see. Like I say, it could just go all horribly wrong. If it does, you'll see it. You know? If it doesn't and it works, great. And was this the turn? Should have indicated, really. Oh, there you go. First learning curve. Driving a tractor with something on the back. Make sure you've got room to swing round. Where was the turn? I need the little sat map open just here isn't it maybe if it's not here we'll move further around so yeah I mean I am going to be taking on loads of contracts now um, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea and depending on the time of year I may be repeating jobs and you know but again I may well do jobs off camera I'm not going to record everything I do um, because if I do 10 cultivating jobs that's not going to be the most interesting thing to watch um, I will close the gate on the way back out again all the way to the end of here maybe and hopefully round to there we go field 11 so Money will be tight to start off with. I Like I said about being in debt, we're not at the moment, we're debt free because obviously this is just me starting out. But I'm thinking I might have to, um, if this becomes a thing that I think we could potentially move forward with, if I'm enjoying it and I think, you know what, I want to start my own farm. I don't want to work from home anymore. I don't want to. Oh, it's working. Um, Potentially, well, I'm going to need to get a loan to buy some machinery. I can't always use someone else's. If I can start picking up um, contracts and jobs with my own stuff, 
that's a lot better as well plus also if I want to do any of these kind of off the books type jobs which will become more apparent as I move forward um, am I still tucked in enough oh not quite I need to line something up I think it's that front mud guard if I keep that front mud guard along the edge we should be about right I always do this if I do anything in cab I try and find a point on the vehicle this was advice given to me try and pick a point and line that up so I look behind me now yeah we should be absolutely spot on so if I just keep that left mud guard along the row and then I'll do the same when I do the next row round then I may go up and down the field since deciding upon this course of action and this career change um, I've been watching a lot of YouTubers um, funny people that they are um, to find out how best and how other people do it and that kind of thing it's a great guy called George Saunders and if um, if you're an American watching there are loads of YouTubers Tom Pemberton I mentioned from the UK and, and a load, lots of people have messaged me and said you know these are people you should have a look at and there are some fantastic farm real farm YouTubers out there um, but in the UK generally speaking unless it's Lincolnshire way out that kind of way there's a lot of big open flat land bigger machinery is kind of used can be used um, farmers don't have I say well, not all farmers that's very generic um, don't all have massive machinery and the company that he works for I was watching a video the other day it does a lot of ploughing and cultivating obviously depending on the time of year and that's why I enjoy watching them they were ploughing out a field and he was in a fast track with um, a Cavernon plough it was only a I'm sure it was a five shank and one of the other guys that works for the company came out in a fence to join him to do some power harrowing while he was ploughing and the field was I don't know, probably about this kind of size I suppose and he said he'd been there for three hours already and he'd only done about half the field maybe about half of it so realistically it's small small machinery hedgerows small gateways tight lanes and you just spend your day going up and down getting it done I mean that's kind of part and parcel but I think it's changing your mindset ab about how you go about it how you do it am I about to start again yeah, am I not? fantastic so what I should be able to do now is line that mud guard up with where I've already done and then go again so if I line that up there what we'll do, get a little bit where I can go along almost straight and have a look behind. Fantastic. Right. Um, this is going to take some time. What I can do now is close my sat map. Actually, it might not take as long as I think. Yeah, you see a bit there where I missed because I, I was trying to work out the best place to do it. A lot of these don't pay out massive money depending on the time of year we'll be able to pick up some jobs we'll be able to help out with harvesting um, something else I may have to look at may, well, maybe there's no maybe about it investing in some kind of storage um, because I have also been told that during harvest season sometimes if you work well and the farmers are happy with you um, they give you kind of surplus crops that will help for the kitchen table or also selling on if I want to do that I haven't actually thought about livestock at the moment whether I want to think about doing anything like that this is this is just this is just getting started but what a better place to be working the countryside yeah anyway I kind of what I was saying um, it's about kind of just changing your mindset thinking about it as more of a it's not a hundred miles an hour get everything done as quickly as possible I mean admittedly you do want to get it done as you can see my time at the top right hand side um, 
it's going to go a lot quicker than I'm used to. So doing a job like this will take hours. Whereas, you know, you know where I'm coming from. I really probably shouldn't be doing tight turns like that with the cultivator. I really should be lifting it and turning it. There are some fairly narrow bits in this field that will um, will kind of get to a pinch point with those and it will almost make it two separate fields that I can then maybe tackle independently. So, what I'm going to do for my first job, I love the tilt on the tractor. Is I'm going to carry on. Get the drone out, maybe do a bit of you know, a few aerial shots. Let's get this done. See what else is available. I'll pick up as many as I can. While there are jobs available, I'll do them. Admittedly, like I say, using the farmer's machinery, you get paid less money because you're putting wear and tear on theirs. Um, but, again, needs must. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Why? Where did my pound go? Where, what? I don't understand. I haven't bought anything. Must have, must have dropped the pound out of my pocket. Maybe it was a trolley pound. Maybe I had to, <laughs> did I have to put it in something. <laughs> I'm properly on zero now. Hooray! Oh well, forget it being pound land then. tell you what's become scarily apparent probably because it didn't help I didn't start till quite late in the day but when you're doing this farming lark how the hours just disappear <laughs> and the problem with that is because I started late in the day with the hours disappearing so will the light and I don't know whether I'm going to get another job done Ooh, line up there we go um, it's all going very well what I, I have done very conscious of the fact that I'm sure people would say oh well yeah, it's left loads of bits everywhere um, I've gone back over and I've done everything all the bits I missed look over to the left all cleared well there's one tuft there I don't want my first job to be so bad that no farmer in the area will employ me <laughs> so I decided you know what let's go and do it all I do like the all-wheel steer on this JCB though it does give me 
nice turning circle to get back round again. Yeah, I'm hoping, oh, I don't know, I'm hoping we can get another job in before it gets dark. Maybe. I'm thinking as well that these episodes, I know this is not necessarily narrative, but um, these episodes might be shorter. I might do shorter ones, but m more of them, if that makes sense. Um, because obviously doing a couple of jobs in an episode, especially with the time going the way it's going, might make, see it's getting darker all the time, uh, might make a bit more sense. I don't know. It's just a thought at the moment. So it's kind of everything's changing. This is this is all st stuff I haven't done for a while, and you know I've also, if I remember correctly, in the seasonal farming situation, um, if you buy a machine, you get a certain amount of trial hours, or it might only be half, it's half an hour or something. Is it? I'm just trying to think, but I'm not sure if that's real time or game time. So potentially that's an option when when seasons is a thing that buying a machine using it then giving it back i think you get your full your full whack back so often that can be a better way than leasing a machine um but only if you've got the money to buy it of course that's the other obvious thing the good thing about doing contracts for farmers means they get to try out a whole array of different machinery um so it'd be different tractors different cultivators everything you know which will also help inform my decisions on potential purchases. That will also come down to what I hear in the pub. You know what it's like. Oh, I heard the bloke down the pub say. Uh, so contract is complete. However, I'm going to finish the job. New farming area, new me. I'm going to do the job because it's the job I was contracted to do. So whilst at this precise moment in time, I could take this vehicle back and claim the money, I'm going to do the job. There's not much left, so let's get it done. Then we'll take the tractor back and I will have earned my first money, first contract done here in the Six Ashes area. So as I was saying earlier, Wootton is where I've, I'm living. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, across the road behind the store is an area called Rushmere. Um, Six Ashes is a bit further down the, the road, and then there's also a little bit further on than that to the, to the southeast. It's Four Ashes as well. Now, the etymology of any name, road name, place name around the UK can vary wildly. Um, I would imagine it's to do with trees. Um, potentially there were four ashes along a particular area, and there might have been six ashes for the six ashes bit. I honestly don't know. I might have to look into that. I'm curious. I do like the uh, the etymology of language and words and where place names and people's names and things like that come from. And how the further north you go in the country, there's kind of a, a divide across the country. Um, I remember teaching about this. We were doing it about... Britain and you know, how it's changed over the years, that kind of thing, and how uh, the further north you go, it kind of goes um, northeast down across the country at, at an angle, like a diagonal. You've got a lot more Nordic names, Scandinavian names, place names, and things like that, because of where the Vikings and Nordic countries came across um, initial kind of invasion, but after that, kind of to to live and thrive and start communities and that kind of thing and the further south you go that changes and you've got more um kind of norman french names obviously there's you know saxon britain and you know the norman conquests and the romans you know were in the country for i'm trying to think was it 300 300 years 300 plus years something like that so i just find it fascinating um i need to open up my sat map so I get to my exit point, but there we are. First job done. I can't collect on it yet, otherwise the vehicle I'm in will disappear, and then I've got to walk home. So I'll go back down the lane I was in, on, close the gate on my way out. Yeah, as I was. Whoa! What did I just hit? 
didn't hit anything, did I? That's weird. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, with regard to buying machinery, trying different machinery out will give me a great idea as to sort of things I might be interested in. But also, that's what I started to say, down the pub, you get tip the wink, don't you? You know, such and such a farm or such and such a farm has got X for sale, whatever it might be. You might want to have a look and see if it's something you're interested in, that kind of thing. So potentially I need to get out of here and make sure I don't hit it. When I did my tractor... Okay, what am I calling? When I did my tractor driving experience... Okay, that's really weird. I got in here, no problem at all. So why can't I now not get out? Oh, I know why. <laughs> that could have been why I got caught up. I was so busy chatting and didn't fold the machine up. <laughs> uh, I suppose I am new to farming. <laughs> Whoops, that was embarrassing. Yeah, so you know, who's got what piece of machinery, who's got what for sale. Something I might be interested in, right? Okay, that's better. That's unusual, but I can't remember the last time I forgot to fold up a piece of machine. Never mind. Back to the store, we'll have a look on the jobs board, see if anything else is available. And if it is, let's see if I can get another job done before it gets dark. Okay, we're looking right that way. So watch out along this, there's a cement work somewhere near here. And blimey, do the cement lorries hammer along this road, I mean everything hammers along this road. Luckily, the JCB. This is so weird. This is I'm getting real George Saunders vibes. I've been watching a few of his videos the last few days. I've been watching him for years, but I haven't watched any for a little while, so I'm trying to catch up on a load. And this is amazing. I always think whenever I'm watching him from in cab, it looks like he's going way too fast, and the JCB seems huge. And I always think, oh, he's going to hit something. He's going to hit the curb. He's going to, and he never does. He's an incredibly skilled driver and operator, but I don't know. I always get very nervous. <laughs> right then. Oops. Okay. Oh, blimey. Beacons. Okay, right. So, let's go into here. We can complete on that contract. 1,356. <laughs> I lost 882 for using their vehicles. But, let's be honest, if somebody said to you, a few hours work, two hours work, three hours work, work worked out, I'll give you 1,000 and something. You think, actually, you know what? Oh, that's a bit bigger, mind you, though. Still lose a big chunk of that. Where's Field 67? That's a big machine, isn't it? Field 67 is going to be... Oh, OK. Oh, just by not far from the shop. Upper lane. That might be a bit easier. I say it might be a bit easier to get into. You know what? I've done it again. Should have just stayed in the menu I was in. Should I do that one? Yeah, let's do it. Oh dear. 1,357 earth pounds in my... We're well, going to lose the light, aren't we? Oh no! Such an idiot. I accepted the contract, not borrow equipment. Oh man. This is just schoolboy error after schoolboy error. Right, back into the menu. Oh. Cancel, confirm. Idiot. But none of the others pay out that kind of money, do they? Harvesting? There's nothing to harvest. That doesn't make any sense. I wonder if I click on that, whether it will... Really? Sure, that can't be right. No, the contract disappeared. I was going to say, there can't be anything to, to harvest. It's all cultivating jobs. It must be. 
Bailing, again, I don't suppose they'll be available. Cultivating Field 44. You know what? It's a big payout. Right, this time, borrow items. I don't even know where Field 44 is, but... It's going to be somewhere. Okay, down there. That's going to be interesting. So... Out from the farm, down the lane. Okay. There are some, uh, there's a some B&B &B accommodation, Wooden Lodge, just along here, Wooden Lodge Muse, it's along here somewhere. I've also been told that along there, not far from Wooden Lodge Muse, um, there's a farm that sells fertiliser and various different things. Oh, this is, a, this is a whole different animal. Okay. And it's half past four already, we are going to lose the light. And this is a bit of a beastie. Okay, well, let's get the beacons on. We might have to put the lights on in a minute. I may well finish this in the dark. Like I say, these may be shorter. I'm just trying to think if I try and get at least a day into it, oh, into an episode, oh, it's going way too fast. A day into an episode. Or maybe we split it and get a day into two episodes. I don't know. I must admit, I don't think, I mean, all the driving, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but in all the driving around the countryside and stuff I've done over the years of being alive, I don't think I've ever seen a cultivator this size going down a country lane. Something going to be interesting when we get to the junction down here. When we get to the crossroads down here, the side of the house is down to the left. So I don't know the area that well, but I know where the pub is. <laughs> Speaks volumes. Right, so I need to get into the habit oh, of making sure I swing out and then round. I oh, should be alright, okay. Trailer is still behind me. Field 44, not that one. Next one coming up. Hopefully there is a gate or an entrance somewhere obvious. Aha. Okay, so nice and wide. Try and turn in. Come in at an angle, we should get the cultivator in behind us. Oh, there you go, wasn't so bad. open this little beauty up. Oh, that's big. So again, I'm going to have to really pick my spot here. Uh, wow, that's a long way up, isn't it? What am I going to line up? Thinking maybe... Oh, that's not even right. On the edge there. I'm thinking to the right, the kind of top of the exhaust, the larger section of the exhaust. If I keep that lined up on the edge. Look behind me, make sure we are Yeah, doing alright. Then come over just a fraction. Cruise control on, turn that off. And away we go again. <coughs> excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. Wow. Oh, there you go. There's the silos just ahead of me. So, yeah, apparently you can buy seed fertilizer and lime there. That's something worth bearing in mind when we get to um, fertilizing season. I think I need to come across a little bit. I think I'm still out by a bit. I'm going to try and do a bit more. I'm not saying this is going to be an in-cab um, series. It's not. But I'm going to try and do a bit more, I think. 
with seasons on and everything else, add a bit more realism. I will do filming from out of camera. That's not lined up, is it? God, I tell you what. Tricky, isn't it? I see why people like using GPS. Maybe just a little bit up from that. Cruise control on. Yeah, we're still alright. The wheel's just on the edge, so... So I'm just keeping an eye out to the, to the right of that exhaust. I'll put a little arrow on it now, if I remember <laughs> when I edit. Doesn't matter if I overlap by a little bit. It's just when you're doing the field edge, you want to get it kind of right. Yeah, I'm over a little bit. Maybe come a little bit further. Just so I can see a little bit of field between the exhaust stack and the grass. Cool. Five to five. The light is going. I have to get the lights on soon. Right, so I'm going to swing this round. I don't know if I'm going to catch it or not. I'm going to have to come back and do the corner. How did we get on? Did we do it right? Yeah, it missed a tiny bit in the corner and now I've come over too far. This field doesn't seem as... No, I suppose it is a fairly big field, but it's a big cultivator, so... So, for those people out there, uh, the ones that are likely to do that comment of oh well that was boring all you did was cultivating it's farming <laughs> That's, seasons is on i will do the jobs that are avail available seasonally um and like i said there will be like if i decide now i'm going to pick up a load of uh, contracts i may carry on and do some into the night i may not um i should probably need to come a little bit further what I'm also going to try and do as well, on, on in some areas, some farms... Um, did that raise up? It did. The farm shops and stores and sale points and stuff close at night. Of course they do. No one wants to be there 24 hours a day. Um, oh no, we're losing the light again. So potentially, I think we're going to go down that route. Thank you, Dan. Um, of kind of... I won't be able to buy equipment or there are certain jobs I won't do at night because you know you wouldn't some jobs like harvest time and things like that farmers will work late and if you're trying to get stuff done before rains come and that kind of thing you will absolutely you know work into the night and work as late as you need to to get the job done um, obviously I've said before filming at night is horrendous and you know for a viewer it's, it's you can't see anything the immersion factor of putting the lights on and, and trying to do the job, especially like in cab, trying to see what you're doing when it's pitch black around you, is astounding and incredibly difficult. And but it's, there's something very rewarding about it when you get it right. Um, but like I say, for viewing, it's not so great. So you may well find that in the morning I've got a load more money. But I will also show you that I've done the contracts. There, there is going to be no jiggery pokery. There's going to be nothing nefarious. No money added in, sneakily. Nothing like that. I will do what I need to do to make money. And if I can't do that, I will go to the bank. <laughs> Cap in hand to the bank manager. Please, sir. I need some money. Right then. You know what, we're doing too bad. I'm, I'm quite happy with how this is going. Line that up. Drop it down. And away we go. See you in a bit.
I'll tell you what, doing this last bit was well, it wasn't too tricky as the sun's been going down. 25 past 6. We are contract complete. Although I do need to find the gap in the hedge. <laughs> Where was it? Over this way, wasn't it? I'll just drive on the hedge till I find it. That's the only problem. Oh, it was there. There we go. Right. Let's close that up. I think I probably need to come at a bit more of an angle, don't I? If I'm going to get out of here properly. I have to finish folding up. Oh, I forgot it was one of those. Right. Okay. Well, let me grab our payment for this. On the scale of farming and farm machinery and how much things cost, what we've earned today has been a drop in the ocean. Um, but on the scale of earning something and starting off, well, with a pound and then going down to zero, we've earned money. We've done a couple of jobs and that's the name of the game, earning money. Um, that's interesting. Right indicators. Oh, there we go. Now we're indicating. Turn it off. Thank you. Oh, should have beacons on there, should we? And there we go. Is that right? So back to the store, um, drop this off, get the money, grab my hoverboard and I'm off down the pub. Um, I'm going to pick the brains of the guys down at the pub, have a bit of a chat about what I've done today, mistakes, things to learn from, where to go next, and then tomorrow morning it'll be onto the board and have a look and see what's available. Am I? Hmm, I'm just thinking, is it worth me picking up something overnight? I mean, not overnight, but kind of late-ish. I can't see a thing. I can see headlights coming that way, but I can't see past that pillar. That's a horrible position for that. I just have to go for it, right. We didn't do too bad with that. Let's turn the kettle off. Beacons off. Lights off. Engine off. I told to turn those off. That's better. Whew, well, that wasn't so bad, that. I'm not sure we would get into every field with something that size, but we can certainly give it a go. 2,297. That's not too bad. Collect that. There are loads more cultivated jobs available. I suppose the thing to do now is going to be look at buying my own cult cult cultivator. Um, still going to be pricey. And I, I think I'm going to need... I'll, I'll chat to the guys at the pub, but I think I'm... I have had no idea for bailing actually as well. Or I don't know if there's anywhere where I can buy any. But I'm pretty sure if I clicked on those, they would disappear as well. So actually it's probably pointless. Same as that harvesting one there. Um, transport jobs. Yeah, I think with a lifter of some description and a trailer that I can convert. <coughs> which means kind of starting off, I want to be looking at something along the lines of the Stroutman. There are a few different ones available. There's some modded ones as well. Um so that I can have it with sides, load it up if I need to with products, but I can also have it in the bale configurations if I want to transport pallets or anything else, I can. So one that's kind of modular, maybe. Yeah. Um, just to start out. Then when I get to a point where I can afford to have a trailer and a, you know, a low loader or a flatbed trailer or something like that, I can go down that route. Um, 
But for now, let's jump on our hoverboard. <laughs> Lights on. Well, that's kind of eerie, so anyway. I'll be heading down to the pub. I hope you've enjoyed the first episode. Um, we are just starting out. But we have ended the episode on 3,654. We have made some money. That will disappear very quickly, especially when we get onto fertilising, sowing, that kind of stuff. Um, because although they will give me the equipment, I will need to... My voice is going. <clears throat> I will need to buy that stuff myself. So, um, yeah. Um, interesting times ahead. I'm glad I've got a couple of contracts under my belt. I'm glad we've got a couple of things done and made a bit of money. Um, I don't feel as apprehensive as I originally did. Uh, let's get my indicator on. <laughs> let's turn down the lane towards the house before that car comes. I know I'm cutting across. I shouldn't cut across. Very dangerous in case the car comes the other way. But that's it for this episode. Um, like I say, we are out the gate. We've made some money. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.